Welcome to German History with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in this video, I'm speaking about Erich Höppner. As always, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Erich Kurt Richard Höppner was born on September 14th in the year 1886 in the city of Frankfurt Oder, a son of the physician Kurt Höppner and his wife Elisabeth. Erich Höppner finished school in the year 1905 and joined the Prussian army in the year 1909. One short year later, he got married to Irma Gebauer, with whom he had two children with. He was commanded to the War Academy in Berlin in October 1913. During the First World War, he served as an orderly in the 16th Army Corps. And in the year 1916, Erich Höppner was transferred to the front lines and promoted up to the rank of Rittmeister, which is the cavalry equivalent of a captain. And for his achievements in the war, he received both classes of the Iron Cross as well as the House Order of Hohenzollern. In the interwar period, he remained in the Reichswehr and served as staff officer in the 1st Cavalry Division before he was promoted to the rank of Major in the year 1927 and became first staff officer in Wehrkreis I in Königsberg, East Prussia. Since the year 1930, Höppner served as a battalion commander in the Infantry Regiment No. 17 and was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel two years later when he commanded Reiter Regiment No. 4. In the year 1933, Erich Höppner became Chief of Staff in Wehrkreis I and was promoted to the rank of Colonel. In the year 1937, Höppner became a Major General and one short year later he was already promoted to the rank of Lieutenant General, leading the 1st Light Division, which was one of the first armored divisions in the Wehrmacht. During the time of the Sudeten Crisis, Erich Höppner was part of a planned coup d'etat against Adolf Hitler to avoid a war. The Munich Agreement, however, that granted the Sudetenland to Germany, voided the coup d'etat plans. When the Second World War broke out, Erich Höppner led the 16th Army Corps motorized, which was part of the 10th Army during the Poland campaign. After the campaign was completed successfully, Höppner received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on October 27th in the year 1939. Leading the same corps during the West Campaign, he was promoted to the rank of Colonel General on July 19th, 1940. Before Operation Barbarossa, the Soviet campaign began. Erich Höppner's Army Corps was renamed into Panzer Group 4, consisting out of the 41st Army Corps as well as the 56th Army Corps motorized. Initially, under Army Group North, the Corps advanced quickly into the Soviet territory, before it was transferred to Army Group Center to aid the advancement towards Moscow. When the German advancement was stopped in the winter of 1941 and strong Soviet troops pushed the Wehrmacht back, Erich Höppner ignored a direct order of Adolf Hitler to hold the lines, which ultimately resulted in his dishonorly discharge out of the Wehrmacht, stripping him of all of his medals and prohibiting him to wear his uniform. In fall 1943, Erich Höppner was asked by the resistance to participate in a coup d'etat against the Nazis. So Erich Höppner returned to the city of Berlin just one day before the assassination attempt on July 20th, 1944, and after this attempt failed, he was arrested the following day and offered to commit suicide to avoid trial, which he refused. Therefore, Höppner was tried at the Volksgerichtshof, the People's Court, and of course was found guilty and sentenced to death on August 8th, 1944. Erich Höppner was executed by hanging the very same day.